the metal is where magnets come from. This is gonna break down pretty quickly, I think. Exists in little tiny pieces in the rock. That's When you hold a rock up and you see little shiny bits, that's metal. Sometimes. Chill. It's like I do it. It's like you do it. <laughs> I see we have a lot of work to do here. Mm -hmm. You think metal just exists? <laughs> this is all correct. <laughs> it's just... Oh, hello. Many juggalos ask the question, how do magnets work? Well, luckily I am a professor and therefore knowledgeable in everything. And so I am going to explain to you how magnets work. You see, a magnet is a piece of metal that has either a positive or negative charge to it. And that charge can come from something like being struck by lightning or other electrical things that would make the metal either positive or negative. Hold right there, Professor. Oh my goodness, known scientist and Chris Hemsworth lookalike Kyle Hill, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I heard something being wrong for too long, so you know I show up. Oh, uh, you keep doing that. I do, it's a curse. That is what I have heard. Yeah. So, I'm so glad you're here because you have a PhD, correct? What are we doing? You Do you have a master's degree? Yeah, I do. You, oh, you do. <laughs> Well, I, is it an MA or an MFA? An MFA requires more units. It's an MA. Okay, well, I have an MFA. God. It's a Master darn. of Fine Arts mm. in Creative Writing. So, so, I so, you, you. so you are about to school me on how magnets work, of course. If I get any minor detail wrong, you can correct me. I don't expect to be doing anything like that. Are magnets struck by lightning? Would lightning make a magnet? Here's my, so, so am we, I correct we, that lightning? I feel like we have to start from the basics. Lightning can make a magnet, right? Can, can lightning strike a magnet? Yes, technically. <laughs> but what I mean is, mm. is magnets are created when electricity gives them either a positive or negative charge, correct? N so if magnets had some- We can make magnets artificially with electricity or in nature by lightning. <sighs> If magnets had a charge, couldn't we use them as something like batteries? We can, can we use magnets as batteries? Do we use magnets as batteries? Are batteries magnets? If I, oh I've taken God. a battery, okay, so we, okay, so I've we, taken a battery, oh, no. I've taken a battery, and I've taken a magnet, and the magnet sticks to the battery. So yes. <sighs> okay, so uh, I think we should start from the beginning. Why can't I put my hand through this table? Uh, because Thor does not have that superpower. I bet he could if he really wanted to, but why can't my hand physically pass through the table? What is stopping me? Atoms. It, that's true. And what to do with the atoms is stopping my other hand atoms from going through. They're, they're too close together. What happens when I bring two atoms close together that makes them not... They bump off each other. What is making them bump off each other? The atoms, they're in the same space. An atom can't yes. occupy the same space as another atom. But so you around I'm an English major. Around. I went to Los Angeles Unified Public School District. No, we're doing we're doing great so far. So what is around those atoms? Do you know that? Other atoms? Electric bits? What are, protons? What are those electric bits? Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Exactly. Now, the and electricity comes from electrons. Yes, that's true. Uh, electrons exist in a uh, in a cloud around atoms in a probabilistic way. Don't worry, we don't have to get through that. But they have some electric nature to them. Right. As and you the electricity saying. comes from clouds. You have the. You said there's a cloud, and the electrons or electricity comes out of the clouds. I don't know what this has to do let's with. Set, let's set that aside for a okay. second. Uh, so <laughs> those electrons mm -hmm. having an electrical nature, you know that they might attract or repel each other because electricity and magnetism, electromagnetism are intertwined. Right. I don't really think that all magnets came from lightning strikes. I just mean lightning is electricity and if lightning strikes a rock, that rock becomes magnetic, right? Or obsidian. No, it, it, it me becomes obsidian. It melts. And then we take and reshape it into a magnet. So when I try to pass my hand yeah. through this table. <laughs> yeah, atoms. The electrons around yeah. those atoms repel each other. Sure. 
like charges, electrons have a negative charge okay. on the outside of my hands yeah. atoms, on the outside of this table's atoms. Right. Stops Boom. here. Right. Okay. So we know that electrons around atoms have some electrical nature to them. I, I just love that I was right about the electricity. It, it's, <clears throat> it, it is the flow of electrons, technically. That master's degree coming in, coming in handy. Now, this is a normal property of all things, uh -huh. that electrons prevent things passing through other things. This is a force, right? Right. I press on the table, and yeah. it presses back. It's pressing back? Yeah. Equal and opposite reactions. Okay. Like this. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. So I press on the table, it presses back. Now, right. for something like a magnet, why do you feel a force at a larger distance than this? Why do I feel attraction before anything's actually touching? Uh, well, it probably has something to do with those same electrons. Electricity. Which is the movement of electron. It's the one thing you got right. So, why do you feel magnetism because at a distance? Because it's pulling it. It's pulling it. Or repelling it. Or repelling it. In the same it. way that my hand doesn't yeah. go through the table. But why doesn't that happen with everyday things? It's because... They're not metal. Ma well, magnets are special. Yes. So, inside of a normal object, those atoms and their electrons, the properties of the electrons are all random. They're all mixed up. Uh -huh. they're, all, they're all over the place. Yeah. And so for a macroscopic, not microscopic thing, a, a, a human-sized thing, yeah. all that randomness just tends to cancel out. Right. And it's not, you don't see any weird effects. But in a magnet specifically, all of the electrons and their properties are lined up in the same way. Right. And so it's not random anymore. That small force mm -hmm. that on average prevents me from putting my hand through the table yeah. lines up over millions and billions and billions of little atoms and electrons to magnify the force, to make it bigger and larger Magnet. such that you can feel it yeah. at a distance. Yeah. So that's a very complex way of saying what I was just broadly speaking of with the, the metal getting hit by lightning. But here's the thing. What? Magnets have a positive and negative charge, right? No. The magnets have a positive and negative side. There's a positive side to, uh, if I have a magnet, one side is the plus, one side is the minus, and the plus and the minus come together, but the plus and the plus push apart, right? Yes. And when you have a battery, there's a plus side and a negative side, just like on a magnet has a plus side and a negative side, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so I, I, I mean, I feel like I didn't get much wrong. <laughs> I'm right about the batteries, right? The magnets have plus negative, and batteries have plus negative. <laughs> I went to public school, uh, and I didn't pay attention even there. So, uh, in magnets denoting attraction and repulsion, in batteries denoting which, uh, which way the yeah. electrons are going to flow. Well, it's Those different, are like not... you have to wrap it in the Duracell wrapper and stuff. Do you, do you want to know how magnets work, or you yeah, just want Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm just trying to, to, to make it accessible to people who are not following the complicated And why would version. I know how to do that? Yes. So, <laughs> this, uh, this property of, of magnets yeah. all being aligned in their atomic structure to magnify this attractive or repulsive force. Right, but how'd they get aligned? They can be naturally aligned. By lightning. No, naturally aligned by their formation as metals. Okay. And you can prove this. Have you ever taken something uh, maybe in your basic, basic science class that you maybe took uh, 60 years ago? Um, and you took a magnet and you ran it over a nail. No, I actually you never, never did, that? did that. You may you at home have you ever done oh, this? Oh, and then the the, the 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 nail becomes magnetic. I've done it with a screwdriver when I'm assembling a computer. Now, why does that happen? Uh, because the magnet takes its magic and puts it in the screwdriver. Now, think about it just a little bit harder. Okay, so the the magnet. What is I talk about about positive. All... So the magnet is a plus. What what and I it, and it it pulls all the pluses. It pulls all the pluses in the metal of the screwdriver into alignment and and creates within it from the disordered metal of the screwdriver. It temporarily because it wears off puts everything the way it needs to be to make the the the, the magnet happen. That's exactly right. Is that really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So when you there are ferromagnetic metals that are nat, uh, they're permanent magnets right. that are permanently magnetized. There's other metals that are amenable to be reoriented at right. their atomic level. And so when you take a magnet on something that can be magnetized, you're just using the magnetic field yeah. 
to reorient, as you said, temporarily all of the uh, nanoscopic structure in that metal, and it'll be temporarily that amplified effect. And that's it. And you gotta make sure, though, that you t take the power cord out of your computer before you stick the screwdriver in there, because, wow, yeah. you wanna talk about lightning. <laughs> I was magnetic for two weeks after that. Wow. Yeah. That's, is that why, is that why you're like how you are? Uh, no, 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 there's, that goes way back. <laughs> it goes way back to the 1920s. But, but, my question for you, uh, scientist Kyle, do magnets ever wear off? Because the screwdriver wears off, so, like, how come the magnet is forever a magnet? Like, the magnets on my refrigerator never just stop being magnets. That's true. So for and this deck box by Leaf Kicker is, like, like nine years old already, and the magnets are still super strong. Product placement. Yes. Some, some materials, uh, like the neodymium in Those these... Those are neodymium. In... in meum. Uh, in these... Meum. Meum. Neodymium. Meum? You them! Hey! Ah. Hey, let's call the whole thing up. Just, you have to take it as just a natural property that some materials, when they form deep in the earth, mm -hmm. form, cool, and solidify in a certain orientation or not. Mm. And so if you looked at the microscopic, nanoscopic structure, some of these metals that could be magnetized temporarily, a lot of their atoms and electrons are the same way, but not right. all of them. In these permanent magnets, all of them are. And in stuff that can't be magnetized, it's forever jumbled. And what's very cool about that is that the forces that you see on our scale from magnets are in reality a quantum nanoscopic effect that is of the nature of the universe, wow. except we don't see it until everything is aligned in the right way for creatures such as we, we can observe it. It is a fundamental aspect of the universe that is present in everything, but we only really see it in magnets at our scale. Wow. But, but the thing that makes magnets weird, mm -hmm. there's nothing weird about it. That's how everything works. We just don't notice. Like, we take it for granted that my hand just doesn't wow. go through a table. That's what makes magnets work too. But because there's an amplified effect, it seems more weird. But Actually, there's nothing weird about how magnets work. Wow. Oh. Can I make a magnet artificially? Yes. Can, do I use electricity to do so? You can. So if metal gets hit by lightning, oh. does it become magnetic? You could take a- If I have a piece of metal uh -huh. and lightning hits the piece of metal and then I take like some paper clips, will they stick to the metal afterwards? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> There's no such thing as a stupid question. The metal will probably be vaporized as... Um, if it wasn't vaporized, if it was like a light lightning bolt, like a lighter, like a smaller lightning bolt, like a shock. Like, like, like... That's not a lightning bolt. Well, like a, like a lightning strike. So lightning strike, it costs three be, mana. Because... It costs one mana. Lightning strike is oh, lightning three mana. Bolt. My bad. Yeah. Uh, My goodness. Do you, know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do you know what's interesting? It takes about three million volts per meter to cross through the air. I don't know what that means. It's a breakdown. Dis it's a breakdown voltage of whatever. Anyways, so um, we learned earlier that electricity and magnetism are linked. Electromagnetism. Which is what I started the video with. Ex yes, ex exactly. Someone so said I was wrong. I was it, right. It is a it is a property yeah. that if any moving charge, whether that be electricity through a wire or anything else, yeah. any moving charge creates its own magnetic field, and so you can use that to create electromagnets, right. which we do, where you have what are called solenoids, doesn't matter, it's just a cylinder with many coils of wire wrapped mm. around it. You run electricity through that coil of wire yeah. and it creates a magnetic field that you can control, and that's how people are actually hearing this video right now. Inside of your speakers are little magnets that are going back and forth, controlled down to milliseconds with electricity, vibrating back and forth at just the right way to create the pressure waves and make it to your ear eardrums and are transduced and electrical with signals in your brain. Wow, but you, that didn't answer my question about what? if metal gets hit by lightning. And Why do you want to know that so bad? <laughs> just, if metal gets hit by lightning, it's really hot, it's probably going to melt and vaporize. But if it doesn't, is it magnetic? Lightning hits metal sometimes. There's things called that, lightning. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> what happens to the metal? It gets... Yagma. Stop!
I don't know if it, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So, I, I guess science can't That's can not how, that's does everything. not, that's not how guess, science works. I guess science that's can't not, tell us everything. I guess I'm right. If, you, if you're wrong, that makes me right. No, <laughs> um, yeah. But, okay, controls, okay, I have a big, Liz, what if it's a really big piece of metal, like a, a metal cube? I feel like, I feel like really sticking on this. I just want to know if it's magnetic. Or not. If it survives the light, okay, a lightning rod doesn't get vaporized when it gets hit by lightning, right? Like a lightning rod? Wait, is that well, it, it, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? Right, but like a lightning That's rod. True. Okay, after a lightning rod is hit by lightning and the electricity goes through the rod, mm. if I put a paper clip on the rod, will it stick to it? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Well, I guess one of the most there's always something new to learn. One of the most powerful phrases in science is "I don't know." I would say wow. I would say that if there's still moving charge and electrons moving around in the rod after that uh, or during that, then like we said, the associated magnetic field might make it temporarily mm. magnetic. So I don't. When I, I began I, this I don't video. Know. So when I began this video and said when lightning hits metal, it makes a magnet, I was technically correct. Well. <laughs> Isn't isn't all of this just manipulating some sort of tiny lightning in metal to make a video at the end of the day? If you'd like to learn more about science, be sure to go over to SciPhil's channel. SciPhil is available on YouTube under the channel SciPhil. You gotta stop. Mishra. SciPhil. Yeah, or just my name is fine. Your name's Phil. SciPhil. The channel's called SciPhil, and your name is Phil. <laughs> You know the radiation in here isn't great. I'm gonna go. Be sure to subscribe to Phil's channel. Oh my god, I'm not Phil! It's, I, it's Kyle Phil, damn it. Kyle Phil. Yeah, of course. That's you're just Phil of it. Um, now I'm actually gonna go. I was right. I said it in the stupidest possible way, if you, but I was if right. Lightning just hits a rock, it doesn't. What, uh, what happens when lightning hits a rock? It makes those pretty ones. I had one from a gift shop. It had all the sparkles in it, and they said it's because lightning hit the rock. But sparkles do not a magnet make. Well, sometimes it makes a magnet, sometimes it makes sparkles. You're taking this as gospel now that it makes magnets. Why do you think that? Because <laughs> I heard it on YouTube, right in this video. So it must be true. If it's on YouTube, it must be true. I gotta, I gotta look up a stupid question. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna look it up? Ooh. That's, this, <laughs> it's just a dumb question. <sighs> lightning, here, <laughs> lightning, rock, <laughs> magnet. <laughs> what I typed in is oh. lob king rock magnet. <laughs> Magnetic stone. Light. Oh my god. Lightning stone, otherwise known as lodestone, is a naturally <laughs> magnetic mineral. I don't think it's created. I don't think it's created by lightning. Shut I up. I was right. <laughs> Just, I was right. But no, you're. You might be right by accident. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Because I don't think it's uh, it's lightning striking rock, and it's definitely if if that does happen, it's certainly not the main way magnets are made. I didn't say it was the main. I said it's where a magnet comes from. And in that case, it's correct. I can't believe I'm right. No, you're not. You're not right. I am right. Just you a said second. It. I need. I need the help of the internet to, to tell me that you're. What the? What is? Oh my god! I did no research before this what video. I did no googling. I did no research. And like people are like, oh, Prof probably looked up everything he said, you know. But no, I, I just all came from my memory of public school. <sighs> just a second. Who says the American educational system is broken? The process by which lightning stone is created has long been an open question in geology. Only answered till now. Uh, only a small amount of the magnetite on Earth is found magnetized as lodestone. Ordinary magnetite is attracted to a magnetic field like iron and steel is, but does not, to be does not tend to become magnetized itself. It has a low magnetic coercitivity. Me, 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 me. I love it. Uh, Do you have any other science questions for me while you're here today? How do they get magnetized? The Earth's magnetic field is too weak to magnetize a uh, lodestone by itself. The leading theory, oh my God, okay, wait, wait. The, ma <laughs> the leading theory for lodestones is that they're, magnetic <laughs> they're magnetized by the strong magnetic field surrounding lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I was right. You didn't need to interrupt my video at all. So. I was right. But that's not. But I was right. But that I was going off of my memory of, of, of second grade science and I was correct. LAUSD, baby. But, so it's magnetized by the associated magnetic field. 
yeah, but from the lightning bolt. Don't like, try and w- wiggle your like, way out like of this. Move, I was right. Like, like moving a magnet across the screwdriver, across the nail, it's the magnetic field associated with the lightning bolt and not getting struck by lightning itself. How come my hand can't pass through this table? I don't know. Some like atom thing? Yeah. Oh, God. I've lost all credibility. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Phil's channel. Sci Phil. Why why is your channel called Sci Phil then? It's a file, like audio file. Well, but it's got video, so that's already a silly name. You can be a file for anything. You can be a video (laughs) file. I'm a science file. It's the point of the. I guess. Apparently, some rocks, some magnets can be created by nearby lightning strike. That is a theory. And I did. Looks like. Looks like. This might was. not look the way you want it to look if we keep doing this. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> ah. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>
Dave. Like reversed learned. Like yeah, I've yeah, lost you've something. You've gotten stupider. Yeah. Coming here. I get that a lot. To be fair, in all honesty, all your questions were good questions. Yeah. They were they were put forth with an uh, unnecessary amount of hubris and um, and uh, dickishness. I'll say, um, but uh, other than that, they're good questions. Does lightning a, a magnet make? That's an interesting question. And I was correct. I didn't, but I mean, I was correct. Uh, uh, my question was: Do magnets wear off? Some do. Yeah. 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 Like like my screwdriver. Yeah. It happens. I have, a, I have a sneaking suspicion that this will be most of the video and not the explaining part. I think it's- Don't do that! <laughs> People need to know! They're gonna come, okay. they're gonna right. fast forward to last, the end, it's not gonna be- challenge. Here's oh. your last challenge. In no more than- I do, it does annoy me no that, more that, than that I didn't know that. In no more than two sentences. I mean, yeah, I, I bet I, it does. I mean, I it guess- does, does it annoy you that you didn't know it, or does it annoy you that I knew it and you didn't? I. I feel like you didn't know it. I but feel I like did. You were just I literally sh- opened the video with it. I feel like you were just throwing <laughs> shit out there and no, see No, I was stick. throwing what is in this scrap heap I call a brain out there. Mm. Rattling around like a deck box? Yeah. That's all that's left, huh? How many sentences do you need to explain how a magnet works? Can you do it in two sentences? Oh, you're, I know what you're gonna do to me. No, I'm not doing anything. You're gonna be, I'm gonna say something erudite, no, no, and then you're gonna no. come in, you're gonna be like, lightning magic. No, I'm not going to do that. It's 100% when you're I'm not going to do it. It was. Give yeah. me two sentences so everybody knows how a magnet works. Just two sentences. How does a magnet work? That's a, I mean, it's, it's a legitimate challenge. They have, they hold... Uh, I'm ch- very good at challenging people. People tell me I'm challenging all the time. Really? Yeah. No, I mean, uh, they hold challenge, like open challenges for stuff like that, like explain fire in the simplest way possible or something like that. The simplest way I could think of... Fire happens when lightning strikes a plant. Again, <laughs> right in the wrong way. <laughs> it's true, though. We owe a lot to lightning, is all I'm saying. But why, does, the, why does it combust? No, no, but I'm just saying it comes oh, from lightning. God. Anyway, two seconds. Not everything is, comes from lightning. <laughs> not everything. A lot of I things. I mean, we, we both worship Zeus, of course, but not everything comes from lightning. Two sentences, how do magnets work? Magnets work by amplifying the natural attractive and repulsive forces of atoms and molecules at the very smallest scales. Lightning magic. God 